Okay, that is your introduction for uh, your Kin225 class today. So, um, what I want to talk about first today is another neural phenomenon. This one is called post-activation potentiation. Uh, so the definition of post-activation potentiation is when you do a maximal contraction of muscle, it can result in increased strength of that same muscle group a few minutes later. Um, so this is often used now uh, by athletes before they do an important competition like a, like a sprint event. They might do a maximal contraction of their legs a couple of minutes before they do the sprint because it increases the power output from their legs. Uh, some of the possible mechanisms here, they're kind of, it's kind of a bit of a mystery, but it might involve enhanced myosin actin cross bridge formation. So it might be something down in the muscle or it might be something with the brain uh, and enhanced neural activation. So if you do a maximal contraction of a muscle group, you're activating your brain, uh, you're making your nervous system more excitable. And then when you do uh, a performance of a couple of minutes later, that performance is improved. So I'm gonna go over a study that we just had accepted into this journal called Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research. Uh, it was conducted by Robert Downey. He was uh, one of my mass, uh, one of my honor students a couple of years ago. Uh, so what his study involved is we wanted to look at the effects of doing a specific and non-specific exercise on post-activation potentiation. So what we did is we had participants tested for the maximal vertical jump, and uh, they then performed a maximal isometric squat or bench press for, sec for uh, seven seconds. Um, and then two minutes later, they performed another maximal vertical jump. So they came in on different days. One day they did a maximal uh, isometric squat for seven seconds. A couple of minutes later, they did the vertical jump. And the next day they came in and they did a maximal bench press and a couple of minutes later performed the vertical jump. And they did the vertical jump uh, before doing the squat or the bench press. And we looked at the improvement in the vertical jump test, um, you know, when they did the squat or the bench press before the vertical jump. Uh, and, you know, initially we thought that um, both exercises would result in improvement in the vertical jump because we were thinking that both exercises would stimulate the brain and, and activate the, the nervous system. Uh, what we found is, um, you know, uh, this is supported by previous research, is that we found that um, the vertical jump improved if the squat exercise was done a couple of minutes before. So this graph here shows the individual participants in the study. So there were 24 participants. And anytime this bar goes above the zero line, it shows that there was a positive change in the vertical jump height if they performed a squat a couple minutes before that. Um, so you can see that most of the participants had an improvement in their vertical jump. Uh, so this was the post-activation potentiation. When they did a maximal squat exercise, a couple of minutes later, their vertical jump was improved. Uh, on the other hand, if they did a maximal bench press exercise before the vertical jump, you can see that the vertical jump for most of them actually went down. So uh, they had um, uh, an impairment in their vertical jump performance. So what we concluded from this was that maximal vertical jump height increased if a maximal isometric, isometric squat was done two minutes before. But on the other hand, the jump height decreased if maximal bench press was done two minutes before. So what does this mean? Uh, it's got implications uh, for how you might do warm-ups before a power type sport. So if you perform some maximal contractions of the muscle group you're going to use in your performance activity, uh, it will improve your performance, um, but you should avoid doing maximal contractions of muscle groups you are not going to use in your performance activity because that is going to slightly um, impede your performance.